Howdy, y'all. <laughs> What'd you think getting called when you did and what happened after that? Um, well, obviously super excited. You know, I hadn't played a game since 2015 Conway High School State Playoffs. So um, it was definitely very exciting and fun to get back out there and play. So I was excited, yeah. How plugged in? I mean, you had to be plugged in week after week to know the plan uh -huh. and, and be able to execute it. How, how did that work? Um, well, just stay in the course and keep uh, trying to do the little things right and just prepare every week like I was uh, a starter. So that's what I did. and. I just tried to make sure I was ready whenever I was getting an opportunity. So, What was the run play, the first play? Uh, it was just a, a power read play, and pre-snap I knew I was going to keep it. So whenever I um, – O-line did a great job. Whenever I saw it uh, come open, I just – I got about five yards downfield, and I was like, wow, I haven't been tackled yet. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that was just a good start. So, uh, yeah, just props to O-line. How did practice go today? Practice was good. Um, I think everyone's locked in on the plan. Um, I think we got a good plan. So, uh, just excited to play on Friday. You could very well be going up against Taylor Powell, uh, you know, on Friday, I guess. Just talk about, uh, you know. That. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's going to be really cool because he's my best friend. Um, we actually played at Fable High together. Uh, we grew up together, so always competed against him. So. We've kind of been chirping back each other. It's just fun and games, but um, yeah, I'm really excited to play him. Barry's uh, really talked about what this game means to him, being mm -hmm. in Little Rock, being the last game, and everything that's on the line. Is how's that communicating the team? How, um, how are y'all taking that? I think that? he's done a great job. He's really emphasized that this is our home stadium, and it is. Uh, I always love the Little Rock game. Little Rock game is one of my favorite games of the year. Um, just so much history there, and then they played the state championship uh, there for Arkansas high school football. So that's important to me, just playing Arkansas high school football. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm excited to get there. I love the Little Rock fans. They do a great job. It's always a really fun atmosphere. So just what would it mean to this team for next year to break this streak of um, SEC losses? It'd, it'd be great. It'd just be it'd be nice to get the bad taste out of our mouths going into the off season. Um, I think that'd be really good for the team just to get a taste of winning again because it's been so long. So uh, yeah, it'd be really important. What was last week uh, like for you where, you know, instead of just holding Nate, you know, are getting uh -huh. big time reps and um, You know, it was different just because I've been scout team ever since I've gotten here, since I stepped on campus. So that was my first week of actually going through um, and getting some reps with the offense. So uh, it was nice. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Somebody told me that even from the sideline before you got in an LSU game, you'd seen some tendencies that they were doing. So when you got out there, you were able to react to that. Um, I mean, I just, just film study throughout the week. It wasn't really just anything I saw uh, on the sideline. It's just, I mean, we got an extra bye. We got a bye week, so we got an extra week to study their defense. And so I just tried to take advantage of that. What's it like being on the scout team for as long as you were? And I don't know, maybe never getting your, your, <laughs> your, your shot, you know? Um, you know, uh, Coach Lunny, um, I can't remember what Bible verse it was, but he came in and he told us to, uh, I think it was in Galatians maybe, but it was, uh, don't go, don't go, don't grow weary of doing the little things, for you will reap your harvest if you do everything like to the fullest with your heart. So, uh, I mean, it was just, I mean, it's kind of been a long time coming. Um, I came in here with really nothing to lose. I was kind of a pipsqueak, really small. Whenever I was my first year, I mean, I really, I didn't belong here. You can ask all the other guys. Like I was looking around and. I had all these other quarterbacks a lot better than me, and so I just tried to keep working on my craft and getting bigger and stronger. I always felt like I had the mental grasp of the game down, but I just lacked physical ability. And so, I mean, that's a testament to Coach Herb and Coach True for um, just helping me out, gaining weight, getting faster, stronger. So, yeah. Got any advice from your dad about all this? Oh yeah, my dad's uh, he's real invested in all of it. Um, he tries to stay out of it as much as possible, but I mean, he, he asked me a lot of questions and stuff, and he's he's been really big for me. Um, just stay in the course, because uh, ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to play here. I mean, there was no question. Um, I was either coming to play football here or I was going to school here. I wouldn't go and play football anywhere else. This was the place I wanted to be. So it was. it's just really been a privilege for me, a privilege and honor to be able to even, uh, be on the team. So it was, it was nice, and it was really – a surreal moment for me to be able to play uh, against the number one team in the country. So. Did you have some, you know, UCA or any small college type offers? I mean, not, I had uh, Missouri Southern School in Joplin. Joplin yeah. um, and that was really it. So, 
there was a, uh, I don't know if it was a fall scrimmage, but I think it may be as your redshirt freshman year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this. You threw a pass to Corlin Jackson yeah. over Ryan uh -huh. Holly. I remember that. And uh, I went to Barry at that time, and I said, what's the deal? Because I hadn't seen you since high school. I said, uh -huh. what's going on with you? And he said, well, he's gotten a lot bigger and yeah. stronger. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what you said. Yeah. Um, that's really just, that, that's what I lacked in high school. I was just... I was 6'2", 165 pounds, really skinny, not athletic, but I had a really good coach, Zach Clark. He, I mean, he coached Brandon Allen, Austin Allen, he coached Taylor Powell. He knows what he's talking about, and it's, it's, a, it's been a blessing to have him as a coach. He was also, he's also an uncle for me, too, so growing up, uh, we would have, like, Thanksgiving dinners and stuff, and most kids in seventh, sixth grade aren't really worried about football and all that. They're just... There to get their food, and my <laughs> my uncle's drawing up protection tests for me, and different defenses and fronts and stuff. So um, it's just a real testament to him. How do you view Friday? Because new coaching staff's going to be coming in. I mean, mm -hmm. it's basically could it be like a job? Or um, well, no, I'm not. I'm not really worried about that. I'm I'm here to play um, for the coaching staff we have right now, and Coach Lunny, and that's just all I'm really focused on. This offense, everyone had gotten to the point, all of us, that thought maybe it's just too damn complicated. Every <laughs> time somebody got out there, they had an issue with it. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of told by people that knew you that you had sort of told some people, even that first spring, that you know, it, wasn't, it was a pretty interesting offense, a little intri intricate, but it was all about the quarterback. Uh-huh. Well, that's – it. our offense goes as the quarterback goes. Um that's what Coach Craddock's told us, and there's a lot that falls back on us, just knowing protections and what the defense is doing and making sure everyone's doing the right thing. So that's what I like. I like I like for a lot of it to, to be on my plate. So uh, it's, it never really bothered me, no. What's your take on the Missouri defense? They got, they got a really good defense. They got a really good D-line. Um, I'm just excited to play them. 91, I think it's Mike Zad. Yeah. Uh -huh. What have you seen from him in particular? Uh, he's he's a good player. Um, we are gonna have we're gonna have to um, get after him up front. So yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, he's seven eight. Mm-hmm. Seminole Bear as well. 